Uh, part of that, now this is a problem that is uniquely um, uh, difficult in the United States, uh, and a lot of it has to do with our history around science and the birth of environmental science in the 1970s with Rachel Carson's book, Silent Spring, and the revelation that uh, chemicals in the environment may be uh, poisoning us without our knowledge. Um, that uh, caused a, a political split in our conversation between uh, environmentalists on the political left and uh, and the chemical and petroleum industries uh, which move to the political right and we see that alignment uh, existing even to this day so when we talk about burning something uh, and uh, putting it into the atmosphere the term is called uh, that they come up with is called sky dumping uh, and the concern is that we are indeed adding to more of those invisible pollutants uh, and polluting the environment and endangering our health. This isn't, this, th it used to be the case that that was in fact what was happening. If you burn plastic in a backyard barrel, uh, you increase uh, PCBs uh, and other pollutants uh, that are car carcinogens. Uh, we have advanced technology now that is implemented uh, through the Clean Air Act in all U.S. Uh, waste energy facilities that has reduced uh, those emissions of toxic chemicals by uh, in the high 90 percentile range, in some cases well over 99.9%. Uh, we're doing a very good job of that, far better than, for instance, coal-fired uh, power plants. Uh, when you hear talk about clean coal, it's about trying to catch up to what uh, waste energy plants uh, have done a long time ago. Uh, also, there's a lot of health evidence uh, from uh, my own uh, uh, Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, as well as uh, uh, the uh, uh, British uh, Health Protection Agency that have found that there is really no evidence to show that there is any increase uh, in any kind of measurable health effects between those who live close to a waste energy plant and those who do not. Uh, so the concern uh, is really a leftover uh, and, a, and a justifiable leftover, but a leftover from 1970s and 19, early 1980s era thinking. Uh, and we just need to uh, educate people to uh, get them to realize that this is no longer the case.